As much as I'd love to keep my iPhone 7 naked, it's just not a smart thing to do. And since I want to keep my iPhone in mint condition, I need a case. And the Spigen Ultra Hybrid has been my primary case for the past four iPhone models because it's everything I want in a case. Good protection, low price, minimal, and see-through. I got it for about $10 on Amazon, and that link is in the description below for your convenience. This is the crystal clear version, but it also comes in other bumper colors. It's made of thermoplastic polyurethane, so it's not a hard plastic, but instead it's firm and flexible. It covers the back, the top and bottom and the sides of the iPhone 7 and it has all the precise cutouts for the lightning port, speakers, new grill and new camera. It's very easy to put on, just insert the iPhone 7 top first and then snap it in at all four corners. One of the good things about the Spigen Ultra Hybrid is that it has a slightly raised lip on the front to protect the iPhone 7 display when it lays face down on a surface. It also has the same type of small lips on the back of the case at each four corners so that the case doesn't get easily scratched when it's moved around. The iPhone 7 power and volume buttons have protection with this case, and I've always appreciated the Ultra Hybrid's ease of pushing the buttons and the tactile feedback that it gives. The air cushion technology on all four corners of the case absorbs most of the impact during small to medium drops. I've never experienced any damage to my iPhones during the past three years when using this case. I do try to be very careful with my phone so it does start there, but I do drop it from time to time when getting out of my car or when I'm pulling my iPhone out of my pocket, so it does handle drops up to four feet very well. The biggest question that comes up is,